we're deep in the jungle, aren't we? That sort of swan you'd never meet here at home. And where would you encounter a crane in such wild and exotic terrain as this? The jungle. Pathé Pick's magic carpet has obviously done it again. Transported you quite safely to the colourful haunts of wild animals you so seldom see, because it's dangerous. In point of fact, we're in Devon, at Paynton Zoo, the biggest in the country outside London, and one that keeps so many of its animals in their natural habitat. That keeper is heading for Gibbon Island, to the monkeys who've unrestricted run of this place with food imported from the mainland. That's their dinner gong, and they've learnt the habit of coming down for food when they're called. But monkeys quickly pick up all sorts of human habits, good or bad. Look at Charlie the Chimp. At 17, he's old enough to know better, and he earns a bleak look from Lenny the Leopard. Even if Harry the Hippopotamus seems indifferent. The amazing thing is that artificial animals can still earn their keep here, though there are over 2,000 real live ones that are having the final laugh. And who's he laughing at? Who else but Charlie the Chainsmoker? He got the 20-a-day habit before anyone said smoking was dangerous. Delightful. Obviously a place for children and pantomime ponies. But what's that old chimpanzee getting up to now? He's just playing with fire. Pretty, aren't they? They're dear things, dear, but they're so shy. They'd never let a stranger offer them a light for their cigarette. Not like Charlie. Pop up, old chap. Go on. Well, it takes time to get things puffing properly, which is why the old puffer train is so systematically being replaced by electricity in this age and day. But there's much more to life than economics.